when I first received my call, I opened it up and it read Mexico City and I was actually very disappointed. I wanted to go somewhere else. I wanted to go somewhere more exotic. I thought I understood what, you know, Mexico was, what Mexicans were, that culture, that thing. I wanted something different. Um, but in the days following, I mean, that was my experience. In the days following, I came to love the idea. After looking up Mexico City and the different things, I got really excited about being able to serve in this place. Uh, now that I'm back, um, I can see that it was a huge blessing. My wife is Hispanic. She's, she, her family is from Mexico. And I don't think that ever would have happened had I not gone to this beautiful place. If I would have resisted and said, no, nah, I ain't gone, then I would have not understood that culture. I wouldn't have had that love for it. And, uh, and, and I just wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have my wife, that's crazy. So I would just say know that the Lord has has a plan for you and, and where you're going is where you need to be. There's somebody or several people or several families or maybe just a companion or two that you're meant to reach and influence. And I know that the Lord places in the place that we need to be. So whether you're super excited or not very excited to go to your mission down in Mexico, know that it is the exact place that you need to be. And it'll be wonderful. It's a beautiful place. The people are beautiful. It's fun. It's crazy. It's The food is delicious. The activities are, are wonderful. Um, I had companions from all over the world. And so uh, I just, the gospel is true. Um, the Church of Jesus Christ is the same in America as it is in Mexico. And you'll find that that's very comforting. Um, there's, there's nothing like the, the restored gospel that gives peace to families. And down in Mexico, families are very fragmented a lot of times because the fathers are alcoholics and divorce is rampant and actually people just live together. They don't get married at all. So I had the privilege to marry about 16, 16 couples on my mission. Um, you know, not individually, but I was able to take them to the judge and get that important thing taken care of in their life. And so, um, just, I know that, you know, as a, as a missionary, you will do important work. You will do something no one else can do. And the Lord will work through you to accomplish His purposes. So as a missionary, like I said, it was diverse. It wasn't just bearing testimony or teaching from the Book of Mormon. We took people to go get married. We had to go fill up fonts. We had to hand do it with pails of water. Um, we had to, you know, there were emergencies. We went, had to help people. Um, there were activities all over that we could do. There's a lot more to a mission than just, you know, opening your scriptures and just teaching people. Um, a mission is there to help people. I helped build houses. I took, you know, cement in buckets up and, you know, one by one and helped build a roof. And there's just, there's so much more to a mission. Just put yourself out there, serve with all your heart. The Lord will make up the difference. Um, I just, I, I testify that this gospel is true and I do that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.